Hello, Christchurch. How are you? I'm so glad that we finally got the live video up and rolling. My name is April Rogers, and I am the Director of Women's Ministry at Christchurch. We're going to give everybody just a chance to start to pop on as we continue this podcast. I love it that we are doing a Christchurch podcast because now is the time that we need the encouragement, right? So, Thank you for joining us. We'll have another one that starts in tomorrow. But for right now, I am thrilled and honored to be here with you today. I want to just let you know that at Christ Church, we are very serious about connecting, restoring, and empowering people through the love of Jesus Christ. And I don't know about you guys, but I can use some love and some hope from Jesus Christ, our Savior. Can we not through all of this COVID-19? I hope that you guys are staying safe. And social distancing is hard for this extrovert, but I'm doing it to the best of my ability and hopefully to the glory of God. So let's just jump right in with today's encouragement. Today, I want to talk about three things that we can do to keep us sane during this time. And the first thing that we need to be doing is so obvious, but it's it's, I, the one thing that I think is underrated is, is to pray. We have to be praying through this time. You guys know at Christ Church that we have had an initiative this year of prayer. And that is so timely because it's the one thing that can change everything. Prayer changes all things. If we are not feeling the peace, if we are not feeling the hope, The one thing that we can do is that we can pray to the one that can get the job done. You guys all know the scripture in Jeremiah 29, 11, that he had his plans for us are to prosper us and to give us a hope and a future. But that very next verse in Jeremiah says, come to me, call to me and pray and I will listen to you. We have a God who listens to us. That is so encouraging to me and to my heart, and I pray that it is to yours as well. But did you hear the two things that he tells us to do? He says that we are to call and we are to come. So just as Pastor Siobhan said yesterday, we have to make it a point to get up in the morning and to start to pray to him and walk around our house, get on our knees, start praying not just for us and for our family protection, but we want to be praying for our community. Then we want to be praying for our nation. And then we want to be praying for the world. This is a unprecedented time that people are watching us and they're wanting to see what it is that we have that they do not have. And we can be praying for hearts to come to salvation, that that they can receive the hope that we have. That's what sets us apart as believers, is the fact that we do have hope in Jesus Christ as our Savior. So pray. Don't, don't sweep it under the rug. Make sure that you're doing it each and every day. The second thing that we need to do is prepare. Now, prepare would mean to that we would prepare to keep in line with what the government is mandating us to do, which right now we all know is our social distancing and making sure that we are staying six feet apart from, from everybody else. And we can do that, but we also want to make sure that we're preparing to be a light in the darkness. Like I said earlier, these are trying times. The world is watching. They want what we have, and we have the light of Christ inside of us. So take a minute to share your favorite scripture on Facebook or share this podcast with somebody who needs to hear about hope and light. And also, we're having a food outreach program. Pastor Nathan is heading this up. You can go to the Christchurch website to find out more about it. These are ways that we can still be a light in the darkness, even though we are social distancing from each other. So prepare to take it to the next level. Don't just sit around all day long and watch Facebook and and, um, read the news reports, but go out and actively make a difference in the world and point them to the only thing that can change 
what is going on in our life, which is Jesus Christ. The last thing that we want to do is we want to let his peace minister to us inside of our lives. My very favorite verse is Isaiah 26, 3, and it says, He will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in him. I don't know about you, but I could use some perfect peace right about now. Anybody else? But the only way that I'm going to have his perfect peace inside of me is if I let my mind be controlled by the Spirit. Not by my flesh, not by what the world is telling me to be controlled by, but by the Spirit. And when I allow my mind to be controlled by the Spirit, then I find that it's easier to trust in Him. It's easier to receive that perfect peace whenever my bank account is going down, whenever I'm overwhelmed by homeschooling my children, whenever I don't understand what the answer is for this pandemic, I can still have perfect peace because I'm allowing my mind to be controlled by the Spirit, not of the things of this world, and I'm trusting in the one who can get the job done. That is what I wanted to share with you guys today. I'm going to pray over us. Lord, thank you so much for your perfect peace. Lord, I I praise you that we can have peace even in the midst of COVID-19. Lord, we know that your ear is not hardened and your arm is not too short to save. And we ask you, Jesus, to come down and to provide us with that hope and with that peace during these trying times. But not only that, Lord, help us to be a light in the dark darkness. Show us specific ways that we can minister to others and we can point them to you during this trying time. Lord, we are praying for salvations. We are praying that people will come to know you and to put their hope and their trust in you just as we have. And Lord, I pray if there's anyone watching today that needs specific prayer, that they would be bold enough to put it out there and to let us come and pray for them and that we can we can minister to them in whatever need they are having. So Lord, be in our midst and be glorified. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope that you guys enjoyed this podcast today. Tomorrow, we're going to have some more encouragement for you at 11. So stay tuned there. Don't forget to pray, to prepare, and to let his peace minister to you. Thank you, Christchurch. Love you guys.